Well, tonight we get to talk about a very special coin that was made because of Wonder Woman here in the first place. I wish. That's, that's, by the way, that is her nickname in the industry, yeah. Wonder Woman. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'm blessed that she's been with me for all these years. But I'm glad that DC Comics has finally said we're going to pay tribute to the actual Wonder Woman. The many of us that are older remember the 70s version. The newer version is just as much fun. But these coins are even better. And they're better because they didn't make any. So DC Comics has a brand new classics series that are out this year. This is coin number three. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman's number three. They all have the same mintage. They all have the same price. And they're all disappearing quickly. There are two in this series, two different. You'll see on the left it says your choice. The top one there is the one you're looking at right now. That's that one ounce silver proof. So they have the same design, just two different sizes. One ounce, $129.95. And on that one, they made a very limited figure of only 5,000 pieces. Now you'll notice this side, uh, the queen is not on it because after she passed, they did not have her effigy on the coins. They were working out what they were going to do with the king's coins, etc. So this one has that new coat of arms on the other side. One ounce silver proof, one twenty nine ninety five. Only five thousand made for that third in the series. Only following Batman and Superman, which are already over two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. This one right here is the three ounce silver proof, same design. Look at this, two ninety nine ninety five. This one extremely limited to just 1,000 pieces, and that's worldwide, folks. That's not just, you know, here in the United States. Uh, it says the entire world, 1,000 pieces. Talk about limited. Absolutely. Again, if there are 20 distributors in the world, Allison, and there's way more than that, right, from Europe and all the various countries in Europe to Asia, South America, here in North America, United States alone, there's more than 20. 1,000 divided by 20 means we get 50 coins. I wish we got 50 coins of these beautiful three ounces because think about this. This is DC Comics and their Legal Tender Coin series, which transcends into Comic-Con and all the comics and so forth, right, that are out there as well. So it's not only for coin collectors, it transfers over to comic book collectors and comic cards and all the other types of collectibles tied to DC. But these, they made them also with very limited numbers. They're learning the Disney way, I guess, is the phrase, right? Disney makes them, and they make very, very small numbers, so it creates a huge following quickly. But there, you have characters that, when you get to the 10th or 11th character, most of us say, I remember it. We all remember the big five, right? We all remember the big five. Batman, Batman Superman, Superman. Wonder Woman. Aquaman, right? Green Lantern. Uh, flash even. I mean, the it goes flash. on. I mean, yeah. there's, there's a core on this one that we all remember from our youth, and this one even more so. But the imagery is so clean on all of them, this being coin number three. The other part is the big logo, right? Batman, which is the big bat. Superman, the big S, right? Wonder Woman, the big W, as you see it on the right-hand side here. It's all part of the characteristics of the coin. The best part, though, is, as you said, 5,000, 1,000, one ounce to three ounce. Both have sold out the Batman the Superman. This one was just released. It's gone, and we only have a handful left. We're just letting people know they're out there. Here's the other part. This is just talking out loud. Of the superheroes, this is the female superhero. Now, there are a couple of others, but this is the one that's dominant, the one you hear of over and over again. You get a granddaughter or a niece, and this is not part of their collection, and you're not getting them involved in collecting, it's perfect. They know the movie, they know the characters, right? They understand the storyline, they understand the significance, right? And the low mintages, which is right in our alley for being coin collectors, right? The beauty of the coins, it all comes together. And guess what? They're still affordable. Like you said earlier, Allie, the one ounces are all over 200 already for Batman and Superman, and you can't find you can't find the three ounces to even quote the price. We got five or six people wanting us to hunt them down. So hopefully the next few shows, the next couple of weeks, maybe we'll find one. They just gotta show up, and if you go out there and advertise, I want them. Guess what? They're gonna cost you too much. Right. 
So you got to be passive, let it come to you, which is always our MO here. That way we get these crazy prices for everybody. But we're holding the line, 129, 299. Each one of these in original government packaging, which also serves as the certificate of authenticity as well. You'll notice on the back of the box, of course, it'll say one ounce or three ounce with the specifications, 0.999 fine silver, one ounce weight, three ounce weight, issued at the country of Newey. Mintage, 1,000. We just bring that up one more time. That three ounce proof is limited to just 1,000 pieces made. And of course, that one, um, that's the three ounce, the one ounce is 5,000, both extremely limited. Disney first came out, it was 50,000, 25,000, then they start dropping down to 10,000, some 7,500. Now we're looking at figures of 5,000, 1,000. Well, it's like any other type collectible. I mean, they do it with sneakers today, right? Uh, certain Nike shoes or other shoes, Converse and others, where they only make X number, or it's the designer that made it, and they just go crazy. Well, in coin collecting, they're figuring out the hype before the event is significant, and they've done it here. Now here's a tidbit. What is Wonder Woman's actual first name? Because I forgot it until I read our cheat sheets they gave us early this morning. Just to refresh, this is what we have in quantity, the price points, what's out there in the marketplace today. Her name is Princess Diana. Now, I did not remember you that. You didn't remember that? I didn't remember it. When I read it, it's like, how can I not remember that? Because going back to the monarchy in England, right? And the issues yeah, there with Princess right. Diana, so it really kind of stuck for Wonder Woman, but it's special. But everybody tonight, it is special. Guys, we got to put a 30 second clock up. We're down to single digits on the three ouncer on my single hand digits, under 10 on the one ouncers. Guys, we're getting real close. AVCcoins.com. Don't miss out. Again, coin number three in the series, the DC Classics. 5,000, 1,000. And, 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 and you can buy a coin that has Allison on it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, the, and the lasso a, of truth, Steve. I know. You should be telling the truth. I know, always telling the truth. You're going to get whipped by her lasso of truth. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Join us, folks. We do have to be moving on. Don't miss out on this one. It is fantastic.